Hi guys, in this video we are going to install our CPU on motherboard and for this build we are going to use i5-8600K CPU and we have ASUS motherboard Prime A Z370. Please note that this motherboard is not compatible with the earlier versions of the CPU so you have to use the latest generation of CPUs if you are planning to use this particular motherboard. In fact, I think most of the or rather all the Z370 motherboards are only compatible with the latest Coffee Lake generations. So let's install our CPU. So basically this is the CPU slot and this is the CPU installation kit. It only comes with uh, ASUS motherboards and if you are uh, if you want to use it you, you will have to first install your CPU on this and then you will mount that on the CPU installation kit on in that chipset um, on the motherboard. I'm not going to use that. I will directly install CPU using the conventional process. So if you are um, using any other motherboard also, you should be fine because this process is basically uh, same. So let's unbox our CPU and you have to be very careful i mean the process is, itself is not very complicated in fact it's very easy but you just have to make sure that you are not touching anything on the chipset on the motherboard or the reverse side of this uh, cpu so we have to just be careful uh, with its handling we have to hold it uh, at the sides so this is so hold it at the side and there's an arrow here uh, this is the arrow so we will align this arrow and no matter what motherboard you use uh, this setup of you know align aligning the arrow with this is same so this is the arrow at the left hand side on the motherboard so we will align our chip with this and then we will simply place it without forcing anything you have to remember that if you are doing it right it will go uh, and fit on this place. We don't have to apply any pressure. So let's open this and don't worry about that. So this is the uh, chipset and we don't have to touch any pins here. This is very delicate. So now I'm going to place my CPU here. And once you do that, I mean, it's fairly easy. You can just wiggle it and see if it's not moving. So just make sure that um, you are not applying any pressure here so it's uh, i think it's well placed and let's hope for the best so now we will have to close this uh, socket And for closing, we will have to apply some pressure. So don't worry about that. So now push it and then, you know, you have to tilt it a bit uh, to make sure that it goes under that hook. And now this plastic covering will come out. And if it doesn't, you can uh, just apply some uh, force on this. So it will come out automatically and if it doesn't you can just you know pull it out that's not a problem but you have to remove that plastic covering because later we will apply a thermal paste on this surface uh, while mounting our cpu fan so for now our uh, cpu is done i think it's well placed and we should be good with this so now we will install corsair 16 gb ram 3000 megahertz so we have two uh, sticks each with 8 gb capacity so these are DD, ddr4 uh, ram so if you are uh, using all the four slots that is you are installing four rams then you have to use all of these four slots but if you are planning to use only um, two then you should be using the first and the third slot and if you are using only one RAM, then of course the first one. I mean, I have heard it somewhere that this is good for the performance. So, and I have seen that most of the people who build their PCs uh, use first and third. So that's how I'm going ahead with this. And the, the process of installing RAM is fairly simple. You just have to open that uh, hook that you, you just have to pull that lever first, which is 
uh, in the right hand side and then you just have to align the ram make sure that there's a division in the middle so make sure that division is well aligned and then you just have to uh, push it and if it's not going then try flipping it and try from the other side but once it is aligned it will go fairly easily so that process is simply easy you just have to push it uh, after that and once it fits into the place that hook in the right hand side will automatically come back in its position so um, you just have to see and make sure that it's uh, fully inserted into the slots repeat the process for the second ram also so now we are done with our uh, ram and cpu the first two things now we need to install our fan now for this build i will be using um, 212 evo uh, which is very popular and very commonly used uh, i think you can't go wrong with this fan but the installation process is you know kind of tricky so uh, if you are uh, using this fan i will suggest you to watch the next video because that will give you some clues uh, and yes don't forget to use some gloves uh, while uh, working with fan because you may end up cutting your fingers uh, because the sink is really i mean it it is really sharp uh, especially at the corner so you have to be careful with the fan in the next video i will be installing the fan thanks for watching